We are learning more about why a sergeant within the Charleston County Sheriff's Office was demoted in the weeks following an assault by a deputy caught on camera. Today, investigative reporter Blair Sable got a hold of this dem demotion letter, and she joins me now to tell us more about why all of this happened. Well, sure, and this tells us that former sergeant, now Master Deputy Kim Timothy Carroll, did review the incident where body camera video showed a former deputy, James Carter, assaulting a suspect, but approved the use of force and failed to report it up the chain of command as he's supposed to do. Now that graphic footage shows Carter repeatedly punching Richard Duncan in the face following a chase. Now that happened on October 21st. I've also reviewed department policy, which states clearly that supervisors monitoring a pursuit are supposed to submit all documentation through the chain of command by next duty day or as soon as practical. They're also authorized to take immediate disciplinary action if they observe egregious acts during the pursuit. Now, according to the letter that we got today, Internal Affairs was not made aware of the incident until November 7th, 17 days after the initial incident. Now, the video had also been circulating from within the department. Carter was fired two days later after the video was reviewed by the sheriff and Carroll was placed on paid administrative leave, resulting with his demotion on December 1st. And Sheriff Kristen Graziano wrote to Carroll, quote, considering the seriousness of the incident, the circumstances of the event, your employment history and the impact the incident has on the agency and this community, I find your actions warrant severe discipline. Now, he was also placed on one year of probation and did not appeal the demotion, but this is not a permanent change, however, and once that probationary period is over, I'm told he can reapply to be a sergeant. Anne?